According to the latest research in the field of aviation, BTOL aircraft are expected to take over the skies in the nearest future as efficient, economically sound, and safe means of transportation. In fact, electric vertical takeoff and landing passenger drones show even better results than electric cars in terms of environmental friendliness. Being intrigued by these findings, in today's episode we'll show you the latest creations in the field of VTOLs that bring the future of flight closer to us. Subscribe to Automotive Territory channel to stay informed about the new videos and enjoy your flight! HEXA from Lift Aircraft While others crack their heads on how to build an aircraft that would be practical enough to shape the future of urban mobility, Lift Aircraft has a completely different goal in mind. The company's HEXA multicopter is all about fun rather than practicality and has the aim of giving people the unique experience of piloting an aircraft without a pilot's license. The HEXA has a drone-like construction with a carbon fiber cabin and 18 electric rotor system that takes it to the sky. For safety reasons, there is no centralized battery and each of the rotors is powered by an individual battery pack located under it. The aircraft is able to lift one person weighing up to 250 pounds and develop the speed of 63 miles per hour, offering a flight time of 10 to 15 minutes on a single charge. The experience will be available in late 2019, but will act as an attraction to anyone who is willing to test out the technology. One flight will cost around $150 to $250. Lazarus LMV-496 Engineers have long been on the quest to develop a flying motorcycle to make the science fiction transport from Star Wars a reality. Many have tried, but until today, no one has created a compelling model that could operate both on the roads and in the air. However, the situation might change when the French automaker Ludovic Lazarus finishes working on the LMV-496. In fact, his concept has already conducted a couple of control test takeoffs. The concept was inspired by the company's brutal V8-powered motorcycle, but instead of utilizing the Italian engine, it is powered by an electric motor with 60 miles worth of batteries while grounded and a quartet of turbines which produce 1300 horses and 630 pounds force of thrust. The Lazarus LMV-496's body is made of Kevlar to ensure light weight and the transition between the operation modes is done with a flip of a switch on the dashboard. Bell V280 if the majority of the VTOL aircraft on this list might be allowed to operate only in a decade or two and others won't fly at all, the last development by Bell Helicopters is being expedited to join the ranks of the US Air Force ASAP. The V280 Valor was co-developed with Lockheed Martin and will become a part of the future vertical lift plan. The major design improvement of the model is that the engines remain in the place while the rotors and drive shafts tilt. Moreover, since the drive shaft runs through the straight wing, both prop rotors could be driven by a single engine in the event of engine loss. This vertical lift craft is reported to the maximum speed of 322 miles per hour, useful load of 12,000 pounds, and combat range reaching 921 miles. The V280 will have a crew of four and will be capable of transporting up to 14 troops. Ehang 184 and 216. The news about the autonomous aerial vehicle from China Ehang-184 had surfaced for the first time in 2016 at the CES in Las Vegas, but at that moment, the world met the newcomer with skepticism. Since then, the company conducted 1,000 test flights, built 30 to 40 prototypes of the single-passenger aircraft, and even presented its two-seater version called Ehang-216. Depending on the modification, the Ehang is powered by 8 or 16 high-performance electric motors can stay in the air for up to 25 minutes and develop the maximum speed of 62 or 93 miles per hour. The company claims that its aircraft will be able to take off autonomously, fly a route, sense obstacles, and land. And if anything goes wrong, a human pilot is supposed to step in and take over the controls. Moreover, the company plans to start serious production by the end of 2020, manufacturing the first 300 units in 2021. PAL-V Liberty Pioneer While the majority of flying cars developers are still struggling to comply with modern aviation laws, PAL-V International from Holland is already getting ready to release the world's first production model in 2020. The tagline for this vehicle is a car that flies, a plan that drives. 
and yes indeed it shows impressive performances both. When designing this gyroplane, the Dutch engineers still placed their bet on the gasoline engine with 200 horsepower. In the driving mode, the maximum range of the two-seater reaches mind-blowing 817 miles and 310 miles in the flying mode. The driving speed is limited to the 100 miles per hour mark, which corresponds to the cruising speed in the flight mode. However, we must mention that unlike other entries on this list, the PLV does not have full VTOL capability. Though looking like a helicopter, it still requires a 330 feet strip. Cora by Kitty Hawk Founded in 2010, Kitty Hawk is the California-based company backed by one of the Google's co-founders, Larry Page. In 2018, the company unveiled its first vehicle, a two-passenger all-electric aircraft with self-piloting and VTOL capabilities. The core is brought into motion by 12 independent rotors that are flanking the cabin on both sides. It can develop the top speed of 93 miles per hour and fly at the altitudes between 500 and 3000 feet. Though the motor's combined power and battery capacity still remain a mystery, the aircraft is expected to travel for about 62 miles on a charge. Last year, Kitty Hawk partnered with Air New Zealand, completed over 400 test flights of the Cora aircraft, and in 2019, it is expanding and opening a new Atlanta office. Besides making videos about the future of transportation, we primarily focus on cars. So once you have finished watching this video, consider following the links in the description and formation cards to learn more about the automotive world. Let's continue! Bell Nexus Developed as an aircraft for the future Uber Air Taxi, the Bell's Nexus stands out among bolter VTOL aircraft concepts due to its size and passenger capacity. The model's construction features a cabin for four people and a rotor system with six ducted fans that can pitch from vertical to horizontal, ensuring vector thrust. The Nexus has a hybrid electric propulsion system where a gas turbine engine sends power to electric rotors. The promised top speed is 179 miles per hour, with a max range of 150 miles per flight. For this project, Bell partnered with a number of companies including Safran, Moog, Garmin, Thales and EPS, which help it in developing hardware and software for the VTOL aircraft. Currently in the concept stage, the Nexus is set to have the testing started in 2023. Boeing PAV A year ago, this prototype aircraft from Boeing was nothing more than a concept study, but in January 2019, it actually completed its first successful test flight. The fully electric passenger air vehicle, or PAV, was developed through the company's subsidiary Aurora Flight Sciences and it is now entering a testing phase with the Boeing Next Urban Mobility Division. The aircraft sits up to four passengers and has modular cargo space option. After going into production, the model is expected to be fully autonomous, offer 50 miles of range on a charge, and have VTOL and forward flight capabilities, becoming the company's take on urban commuting. And hopefully, it will also get a more creative name along the way. Blackfly by Opener Aero After nine years under development, the Blackfly was introduced in 2018 as the world's first ultralight fixed-wing all-electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It is made from carbon fiber reinforced epoxy with all-electric battery-powered propulsion. Unlike many VTOLs, the Blackfly is not using ducted fans, tilting rotors or tilt-wing to ascent, but rather, the entire aircraft changes the pitch. To comply with the national regulations, the US and the international versions of this flyer will have different configurations. The American modification will get an 8 kWh battery, 25 miles of range and 62 mph speed, while the rest of the world will enjoy better specifications reflected in the 40 miles range and 80 mph cruising velocity. By the way, Opener Aero is the second VTOL startup supported by Google's Larry Page, so it feels like he has a hunch about the future of automaking and wants to amass a flying car's empire before the competition catches up. Vahana Aero The aerospace giant Airbus has already voiced the intentions of having a fleet of autonomous electric VTOL aircraft of its own, so it is no wonder why the company develops one too. The Vahana is the creation of the A-Cubed, a Silicon Valley-based Airbus subsidiary, and it is an all-electric VTOL prototype that features an 8-rotor construction. 
Started in 2016, the aircraft made its first successful flight in January 2018 and has since been significantly modernized. The current Vahana specifications feature 143 mph speed, 62 miles of range, and the payload capacity of 450 pounds, aka two people. The aircraft is still in a prototype stage without any plans of the production anytime soon. Jetpack Aviation Speeder You might remember the company Jetpack Aviation is the creator of the insane flying backpacks, but in 2019 the company announced that it started working on a motorcycle-like VTOL aircraft named the Speeder. Powered by four turbojet engines, the model is going to be available in three modifications, recreational, ultralight and experimental, all of which can run either on diesel or kerosene. The first one will have 150 miles per hour max speed, a 20 minute range and a 15,000 feet maximum altitude. The second one will require no pilot's license and will have 60 miles per hour speed, while the last one will be fully customizable and will have no speed and fuel restrictions at all. Though the functional prototype of the speeder has not been released yet, it is already available for pre-order. Do you agree that VTO aircraft will become an intrinsic part of the transportation systems of the future? Or do they pose danger to all of the passengers who will entrust their lives to a flying drone? Share your ideas in the comments below and consider subscribing to our channel to get notifications about the new videos. Watch video suggestions on the screen and may the torque be with you!